Whether or not a full-grown beard looks good on men is a topic that draws varying opinions today across cultures, ages and sexes. But why did men evolve to grow facial hair in the first place? Evolutionary science teaches us that every physical feature that we today possess is a result of thousands of years of careful hit and trials of nature. And usually the features that give us the most advantage in a given environment is what prevails. In this video, I talk about a research paper that tests a new hypothesis for the evolution of facial hair, which states that the hair on men's face protect their jaws from powerful punches. I will explain how the team tested this hypothesis and how the beard fits into the story of human evolution. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. The research paper by a team of scientists in University of Utah was published in April last year. But the reason I picked it up was because the researchers behind it won the satiric Ig Nobel Peace Prize for it. Now the Ig Nobel is awarded annually since 1991 to celebrate 10 unusual or trivial achievements in scientific research. The name of the award is a pun on the coveted Nobel Prize, which it parodies, and on the word ignoble, which means of humble origin. Some of the other research that got awards this year include experiments on whether it is safer to transport an airborne rhinoceros upside down, the bacteria found in chewing gums stuck in the pavements of various cities, and whether sexual orgasms can be effective as medicines to clear a blocked nose. Of these, I know you are most interested to learn more about the beard. So that is the paper I'm going to talk about. Facial hair is often perceived as an indicator of masculinity and social dominance. So much so that beards have been suggested to play a role in male competition. Scientific research has shown through decades that human males perpetrate the vast majority of violence. Most of these acts are aggression that are directed towards other men. In hand-to-hand -hand fights, the face is usually the primary target. And as a result, men suffer substantially more injuries to the face during hand-to-hand -hand combats than women. So evolutionary science proposes that the facial features that set men apart from women emerged as a result of male competition and act to protect the face against damaging strikes. And that may also be the reason that masculine facial structure is correlated with greater upper body strength, aggressive behavior, social dominance and reproductive success. There have been numerous studies since 2008 which found that men with full beards are perceived as being more masculine, socially dominant and behaviorally aggressive in comparison to clean-shaven men. While some researchers have suggested that this is because a full-grown beard appears to make a man's jaw region look bigger. But others have proposed that the beard may function similar to the long hair of a lion's mane. That is, to protect vital areas like the throat and the jaw from lethal attacks. Like human beards, lion manes are specific to males. The thick hair of the lion's mane could provide protection from an attacker's teeth or it may make the head, neck and chest more difficult for an attacker to grab. In fact, Charles Darwin in his 1871 book called The Descent of man and selection in relation to sex suggested that manes of male lions, baboons, sea lions and bisons provide physical protection in male to male fights. In contrast, when considering humans, Darwin speculated that the beard evolved just as an ornament favoured by women. But more recently, scientists are considering the fact that like the lion's mane, man's beard gave him a fighting advantage. What scientists argue is that the part of the face that the facial hair covers is also one of the most commonly fractured facial bones in fights. 
So the team from the University of Utah hypothesized that beards protect the skin and bones of the face when human males fight by absorbing and dispersing the energy of a blunt impact. The researchers said that conducting this research on cadavers was not practical since that would mean having to look for bearded dead men to punch and the team could hardly have gone about punching live men in their faces for the purpose of science. So, they chose to conduct the research by using commercially manufactured epoxy composite bone analogue and covering it with skin samples from domestic sheep. The team said that fleece samples were the closest to the volume of full human beards. Skin samples were cut to the same dimensions as fiberglass and were soaked in a saline solution for at least one hour prior to testing to ensure that the skin had the same water content as a living tissue. The hair of the sheep skin samples was prepared in three separate conditions, sheared, plucked and furred to best represent the three states that would occur in human men. That is a full beard, trimmed beard and clean shaven. These samples were then subjected to a drop weight impact test. This test involves dropping a blunt striker, which is about 5 kg in weight and has a diameter of 3 cm, from a particular height towards a material sample mounted on an anvil. A velocity detector was also used to measure the instantaneous velocity of the striker head at the time of the impact. 20 samples for each condition, that is shaved, plucked and furred, were tested. Researchers found that the furred samples did in fact provide greater protection against the impact than the plucked or sheared samples. Under the study conditions, approximately 95% of the samples that had no fur would break or crack on impact. On the other hand, 50% of the trimmed samples and 45% of the furred samples cracked on impact. Along with this, the researchers also tested the force and energy absorbed for the impact tests and the peak energy absorbed was substantially greater in the furred samples. The results showed that furred samples absorbed nearly 30% more energy which indicates that hair is capable of significantly reducing the force of impact from a blunt strike. This reduces the chances of the jawbone breaking. If the same is true for human facial hair, then having a full beard may help protect vulnerable regions of the facial skeleton from damaging strikes such as the jaw. These protective functions of beards may provide an advantage in male contest and therefore be selectively favoured. That is, men with beard would end up winning more fights and be more successful in finding partners to reproduce with. This may also explain why facial hair is associated with high masculinity and aggressiveness as it may function as a true indicator of the level of invulnerability to facial injury. The researchers also point out that human facial hair has great variations across populations. People of East Asian origin, for example, have relatively little facial hair. So why men in these populations evolve to have different amounts of facial hair is something that this study does not explain. But this research lends support to the theory that male competition has had a significant role to play in how men's physical features evolved. This is Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.